What's up, Prince? Got something you want to tell me? Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. If you say so. Guess I'll see you around, yeah? What's up, Prince? Got something you want to tell me? I'd like you to have the Ring of the Maiden. Look, I know this thing's about trust and all, but I'm not exactly the Maiden kind of girl. You sure? I am. There's none other I would ask this of. You've got some weird tastes. But hey, I'm not judging. Is it truly such an odd request? You're pure of heart, Ketra. True to yourself, and strong besides. Which doesn't even account for your compassion, your kindness, your diligence, your dedication. <laughs> With a partner as marvelous as you by my side, the ring's power will surely never falter. Kitra? Just stop! Yeah! <sighs> did I say something wrong? Of course you did. You're being way too nice to me. Ugh. I don't even know how I'm supposed to respond to that. <laughs> don't laugh! Sorry, sorry. Still, I guess I can't really say no after all that, huh? Fine then. I'll do it. Thank you, Kitra. I'd have it no other way. Done and done. Zenoira won't even know what hit him. <laughs> and there's that strength again. I'm honored to be able to call it mine. <laughs> Majesty, but how? Mother! No! I won't lose you again! <laughs> oh, but you shall. How does it feel? Hmm? Your dear mother, slain by your own hand! What's happening to me? What's wrong, Prince? Oh. <laughs> Your Highness! Ah, uh, what a poor fool he was. Doomed to the same fate as the pitiful queen before him. What did he do to Elaine? His strength surpasses even Elenia's. The might of the unicorn runs deep in his veins. Like he'd ever lose to you. Now give him back, or I'll smash him out of you! Strike at this new body of mine, if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command, and a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? Don't give in, Sir Joseph. He's still in there. I'm sure he is. None can ever hope to halt my designs. <laughs> He's strong. This day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not. You'll make a fine Zenoiran vessel once it is. Yeah, right. I'd rather die before bowing down to you. Enough. Can't you see it's over? Why 
does it hold such vast energy? I knew you wouldn't quit on me, Prince. Now come on, we've got a tyrant to beat. Hilarious. You saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past, I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! How's he still going after everything we've hit him with? My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form, while the souls of Zenoira remain trapped in the beyond. Their emperor shall never know <laughs> defeat! Your majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. Give it up already! You can't win, and you know it! What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, your majesty. The last soul the sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Hmm? Is that you, mother? Your majesty. But how? Mother! It's okay, Prince. She's breathing just fine. Speak to me, please. I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. Gate to the beyond stands open and true. <laughs> Rise, prisoners of the unicorn's curse, spectro phantoms from an ancient time. You shall be the first to perish by my new found strength. Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. I'm ready when you are. That sigil won't stand a chance against us. Come home. 
both of you. What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? Can we just finish him off already? This guy makes me sick. Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more. And in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? To sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon? Perfetic child. Souls of the departed, if you've any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! is leaving me! You've ruined everything! A cursed fool! These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives. Human will in its purest form. Impossible! The sit of very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it. The only escape awaiting you, Ultra, is death's cold embrace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come for me. Let us lift the curse of the unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! We've got this, Elaine! <laughs> Every Zenoiran soul to have ever 